fantastic win for yourself and your namesake Thomas Dietrich in yep. the World Cup of Golf. Yeah, it's a wonderful memory. Um, I love Australia. I just I've always had a, had a liking for it in the golf courses, especially. Um, you know, those last time I played the the World Cup at was a Kingston Heath. I think it was a wonderful course as well. This one, Metro, was unbelievable, and then I had good memories about this course, but uh, I just didn't play well. But this was five years ago, and I was nowhere near the same golfer as I think I am today. So. Um, but I uh, saw the course today and it does bring back some memories and uh, I like you can be very aggressive here. And what have you made of the course? I think there's been a few changes perhaps since the last time you were here. Um, yeah, I think my caddy noticed a couple of changes. The last time he was here was five years ago as well. Um, some of the greens, um, I think they took a couple of slopes out and some holes. And um, I've, I only remember maybe four or five holes. But um, other than that, it's, uh, it's a wonderful course. Yeah. And what about this format here in Perth? It's obviously something that it's caught your eye, but you're doing something similar in Belgium now as well. Yeah, yeah, the Belgian knockout. Um, not quite the same, but um, we have a, a knockout stage as well uh, after 36 holes. And um, yeah, I, I, I just like new new ideas, and, and I think it makes it interesting for the public to watch and TV. And um, I think that's where golf is going to go or needs to go, especially. Um, you know, with, with young guys playing aggressive golf. And like I said, it's, it's fun to watch, I think. Perfect. We'll take some questions. First here with Bridget. Uh, when did you arrive and how are you feeling? Um, I, I uh, arrived Monday night and I feel like um, absolute crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we can all understand that. Does it generally take you? few days to adjust? Uh, normally I'm, I'm decent with it but uh, I just got off the plane and, and I felt sick and um, I've been um, yeah, I've been I've been ju just been really sick I can't sleep um, I took a lot of medication last night and as you can tell it and here probably um, yeah I don't feel quite right but um, hopefully a good night sleep tonight and some rest this afternoon and I'll be better hopefully tomorrow. You obviously played, played this morning. Was that your only look at the course so far? Uh, yeah, yeah, but my caddy walked it on Monday and Tuesday, so um, he knows where I have to hit it. So I just I just have to listen very carefully tomorrow. Is it sometimes when you're not feeling the best that you just keep it really simple, or how do you sort of handle? Yeah, it? Yeah, I mean you have less expectations, I guess. Um, sometimes when 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 you don't feel as good, you don't go for the the crazy shot or the impossible shot. Um, so, like you say, you keep it simple, and, and sometimes that 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 helps. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to wait or just keep going? Or? I think we'll be fine. Olivia's going to tell them to be quiet. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> just all the noise in here. We can continue. It's fine. Yeah. Um, having a look at the field, is there anyone else uh, that you're looking at a bit that? that you would like to play in match play or wouldn't like to play in match play or do you get there? Um, you know, I met, I met um, Jeff Ogilvie yesterday and he was, I mean, it's a player that when I was young, I obviously I, I watched him and I thought he was a, he looked like a wonderful guy and when I met him yesterday, he's a, he was super nice. So um, yeah, I would love to play with him or against him, uh, but just to spend maybe a bit of time with him because he's uh, obviously he's won some big tournaments and you can always l learn something off of somebody like that. What goals have you set yourself for the week? Um, make it to tomorrow um, <laughs> and get get healthy. Um, goals wise, um, I'd love to make it to Sunday and, and I think if you just make it to Sunday then anybody's got a chance. So that's uh, that's the goal. Have you played many other tournaments where you've gone in feeling a bit unwell and how have you gone in those ones? Uh, I, I don't know, I don't keep statistics <laughs> of this, but um, yeah, I've definitely, it, it just happens, you know, you, you get on a plane, I felt perfect before I got on the plane and you get off and it's just, it's a, it's just a bad environment, the plane. Um, lots of people on there that maybe have some, are sick or something, you can catch something really quick, so um, it's definitely happened before, but it hasn't stopped me very often of playing good golf, so um, like I said, less expectations is sometimes good. Yeah, you entered this tournament as one of the favourites. What's it like being, being one of the favourites there? 
It's always nice. Um, you know, I'm playing decent golf. Um, hitting the ball quite nice. I just haven't really put four really good rounds together. Um, like the last three tournaments I've played, I've played three really good rounds and then one average, one bad one. Um, if you if you look at it, so it's uh, it's just a matter of time. I think um, I'm, I'm quite positive about about the next few few months. Thomas, with the top 24 qualifying, does the three days the mentality change at all? Are you as aggressive as you might otherwise be, or less so? Or when you're looking about qualifying for a top 24, does that change how you approach the 54 holes? Um, not really. I mean, I guess when you're when you're just around that number on Saturday, it, you might um, differ some of the holes how you play them, but. I mean, you're trying to get up that leaderboard as high as you can at any tournament. So, um, but I, th I mean, it's at, at my tournament. I found it difficult. For example, I remember on Friday afternoon, I was you know top 64 qualifying, and I was maybe 20th or something. And you get a bit careless because you know, you know, you've got four shots to play with on the last three holes, and um, I think that's something. Maybe when you're you know fifth lying fifth six seven at this tournament on the, on the Saturday you can get a bit careless I think so you do need to, I think in the top eight gets a buy yeah that's so right, that yeah. that's a big bonus as well so I think you just want to you know get in the top eight and, and get a get a line on Sunday. Did you have much input into the Belgian knockout? Like you mentioned <coughs> you think this is these kind of things is the way golf needs to go and we need to do it a bit more. Um, How did your involvement come about? I'm looking at my sister. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it was our ID basically. Like we won a tournament in Belgium, and then we wanted something different. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I can't really remember who came up with the ID, but I I think I won a match play event. Um, so yeah, I'd say I, I was very involved in it. Yeah. In the locker room, you know, we've seen, especially in the PGA Tour, the match play where it's match play from day one is sort of gone by the wayside. What's the locker room talk about? more match play and I guess the uncertainty of that and how do we get the balance right of, you know, guys not wanting to be leaving after one or two days? Um, I think we made it fair to, you know, to have a two-day cut. I think when you start match play on, on Thursday, people can get upset if you just lose the first match and you have to go home. But um, this way, everybody gets two rounds like a normal tournament and then the ones that play well get to move on. Um, you know, I lost my first match last last year at my own tournament on Saturday, and it hurt. You know, I think I played at eight in the morning, and at nine thirty I was back home and I lost. So that's that's golf. Eh? I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's the same here on Sunday. You can you can be back in the hotel at nine thirty. So did you play much match play growing up in Belgium? Was that animated? yeah? I think it's it's more so we play more match play than. I think kids in America, uh, Tom Lewis and I talked about it yesterday um, evening as well, I think, at the, at the event. Um, yeah, we play a lot, like British amateurs. Um, a lot of those tournaments have match play in it. Yeah. Have you played Wentworth over the years? Much when, when that was match play? No, 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 no. I was like 12 at the time, <laughs> I think. Is that? Yeah. Is that it's been a while, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone.